are in the magic bus again. This is my second visit with you, John. Uh, we did a great Facebook Live yesterday, which was the first day of the show. We're at day two, and I'm sitting here with John Whitledge, who I cannot explain to you how cool this vehicle is. Thank you. So thank you for having us aboard, thank um, and thank you for your flexibility today. It's been Fab crazy. Fabulous, fabulous show. Yeah, it yeah. has been so far. People have been coming in and out of this bus, and it's such a unique experience to be in here. And I'd really love to ask you why you started this. Mm -hmm. well, I have a passion for audio, and I wanted to um, build something without limits mm -hmm. and without regard to cost or time or effort, and translate that into something very special that is something I believe in, which is supporting live music, supporting the arts, and cherishing those moments that musicians give us by being able to replay and capture that experience uh, when, when you know, I'm not with the live mm -hmm. musicians. Sure, sure. Yeah, so it's really important for me to get out and see live music and uh, support the local artists where I'm from in San Diego. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and then share those musicians with, uh, with the industry. Like for instance, we're listening to Larry Mitchell right now. He's a fabulous producer and guitarist and he uh, was the first musician, interestingly, to play uh, live music into a car stereo, which was oh, wow. this car. And I think it was in 2011 when that happened, maybe 2012. Wow. And Larry and I have been collaborating ever mm -hmm. since. Fantastic. What a beautiful way to pay an homage to the history and the inception of the bus. Yeah. And to, and to let other people know about it. Yeah, musicians have been an important part of the bus. And for those who come and visit, they get to see the autographs in the back. Right. Which are, are very special and collectible. And in fact, sadly, some of the musicians have passed away. So hopefully this bus can carry their memory on. Um, oh, sure. Through, and, this, through their signatures and through the music. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I know that there are a number of components that make this bus. I mean, the whole bus itself is unbelievably special. But there are certain components. You have uh, uh, partnerships and relationships with yeah. certain companies that I know you really love and that you love to, to talk about. So why don't you take us through okay. sort of your control panel, as it were? Okay. Yes. Um, well, well, every music system starts with a source. and. My favorite source, and I think the best source that exists, is the Sony RSX GS9. This is a digital media player, so there's no CD transport. It's all digital, which is very convenient because getting rid of the silver disc is uh, so easy, so convenient. It's the wave of the future. I mean, the CD's been around since 1982. And um, so I really enjoy the ability to play a variety of formats, either from memory sticks or uh, the the beautiful Sony Walkman, this top of the line uh, digital piece, which renders uh, DSD. Mm -hmm. So we should probably talk about what is high res audio. High res audio is anything that's better than CD. And now that computing power and streaming uh, bandwidth has uh, improved we can enjoy better quality music and we can take it anywhere with us on our phones we can put it on memory sticks and there's no reason not to use high res now uh, because everything works and this unit plays anything that's high res so all the formats FLAC, WAV, AIFF, DSD, DSF um, this thing is just like a universal just give me the music mm -hmm. kind of player mm -hmm. and forget about its you know, the technical aspects right. of it, which is what consumers really need. Sure, it sure. gets confusing when you talk about high res, but you just have to know it's better than CD and it's worth having. So now this, this is where the music goes and then the music comes out of. Yeah. Let's talk about these, because I know these are your babies. Yeah, so these, well, it goes from this source unit into a digital signal processor, which is right here. This is a Helix product from Germany it's considered the best that there is. Mm -hmm. It does 9632-bit uh, processing. Wow. Yeah, it's that one. is incredible. Each what's unique about this van is um, every speaker has its own amplifier mm -hmm. and its own channel of 9632 DSP. Wow. So that gives me incredible control and power over each loudspeaker. Each loudspeaker has uh, 
its own channel of amplification, mm -hmm. and that comes from the wonderful Genesis amplifiers oh, yes. that are that are overhead from the. Uh, these are handmade in uh, England, and uh, Gordon Taylor is the designer of those amplifiers. Mm -hmm. He now owns a company called the Amp Doctor, and he's. Oh, yes. I've had the wonderful privilege of and honor of having Gordon um, modify these amplifiers to give me the best he knows how to do and pretty much the best that's available. Fantastic. And all the wires, all the cabling are from Kimber Cable. Mm -hmm. All the connections are from WBT, which are German made connections. They're like jewelry, mm -hmm. these things. Yes. And uh, they're wonderfully made and they have sonic value. That's why I use them. And then the loudspeakers are provided by Dyn Audio from Denmark. They've been making loudspeakers for 30 years now and they've mastered really the art of making loudspeakers. So in this system there's six speakers up front, two tweeters, two mid-ranges, and two woofers in the doors. The doors have um, enclosures which is unusual but they're custom enclosures and they're ideally tailored and scientifically designed mm -hmm. to maximize the performance from the woofers. To, and what does that translate into? That translates into a sound stage that just pounds you in the chest but emanates from the front of the car. Ah. So as you sit and listen to right. the car, it's like you're watching a live performance right. or sitting in the studio. Sure. And the uh, presence of the subwoofer, which is in the rear, uh, the goal of that is to make it disappear mm -hmm. uh, into the sound stage mm -hmm. and project itself from the mm -hmm. front of the sound right. stage. So that's done by equalization, crossover slopes, and proper time alignment. So I'm going to say thank you for thank you. your time. Yeah. Everybody, please check out the magic. No, it's magicbus.biz. Is that yeah, right? Magicbus.biz. And you can find John Whitledge on Facebook as well. Uh, so thank you so much for your thank time you. and for yeah. letting us sit in the bus I and be like part of this. I would like to thank you and the show organizers for putting on what has to be the best, one of the best shows ever. Oh, so well, we're it's very, really very nice. happy. We're very happy that you could be with us for this. I'm honored to be oh. here. Thank you. Well, thank you.